Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm creating this video today as I'm currently doing the 365 day challenge on Instagram and that is roller skating every day for 365 days, which is a challenge, but it's so much fun. And so if you're here right now, I can imagine you might have just bought skates or maybe you're doing the challenge as well and you wanna see how other people are doing or maybe you are about to buy skates because when I was about to buy skates, I literally just watched loads of videos on YouTube of people's progress. I looked at all of the different accounts on Instagram and I just became obsessed. So if you're here right now and you're about to buy some skates, then I hope you enjoy <laughs> my progress. And I'm going to show you in this video how I went from this to this. <laughs> and I hope that you enjoy the journey. So I bought my first ever pair of skates in February and literally they arrived, I put them on and they it was the second time in my life that I'd ever worn skates. The first time I ever wore skates was at a roller rink place in my area. I put them on, I went around the rink probably three times, fell over and just walked off and was like, I can't do this. <laughs> so when I bought the skates, I was, really nervous because I am a complete beginner, literally terrifying to me. <laughs> so I get my skates and I just thought, you know what, I'm obsessed with this 365 day challenge, I'm just going to try it. So one thing I would say first is always remember that your journey is completely different to everyone else's. You are an individual, you have your own goals, your progress is always going to be different. Everyone is completely different and don't compare yourself to anyone because I see a lot of people who put themselves down or they give up and they look at other people's progress and they're like, oh, why am I not doing well? But everyone's different. So yeah, do not allow yourself to kind of get into a thing of feeling like you're not good enough because as long as you're practicing, you'll continue to progress and that's all that matters. So you know as well with my skating journey, I'm focusing a lot on learning skills and learning different tricks. So for me, my number one goal from the beginning was always to be able to sexy strut. So that's where you static strut, you, you don't move, but you strut on the spot. Always saw videos of people doing this and just thought that looks so cool. So that has always been my number one goal. But remember, everyone's goals are different. So whatever your goals are, it's the same thing. It's just whenever you reach your own goals that you've set for yourself, you'll feel amazing. But let's begin with day one, which feels like forever ago now. <laughs> day one was the first time since I was a child that I'd put skates on. And as you can see, I'm not the best. I'm kind of doing this thing where I'm just kind of kicking my feet off the floor. I couldn't get myself around this bend, so I ended up just <laughs> falling into the grass. I literally, I just didn't understand it at all. I was just literally tapping my feet on the floor and hoping that something happened. So then day two, again really bad day two was actually really really bad because i ended up crying on day two because of how awful i felt i just felt like i had no idea what i was doing i couldn't work out how to skate and it was frustrating me so much because it's something that should be so simple and in, at the time i thought anyway i thought this should be so simple and it's not it's so hard and uh yeah so the learning process is hard but it's so worth it because yeah, it's worth it. When you can start skating and enjoying it, you just love it. So I'm so glad that I stuck with it. Even though day two, I could have easily had just put my skates away and been like, no, nope, I'm just gonna sell them on eBay and just not bother. <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> um, and as you can see, yeah, just awful. I'm just tapping my feet. I have no idea what I'm doing. Day three, I went home. I watched a ton of tutorials on how to just skate in general. And I went back and, you know, I got a little bit of a little bit of rhythm going. I kind of was pushing the weight more onto one foot and the other foot. It was getting a bit better. I was feeling all right this day. So we come to day four. Now day four was a lot better than any other day. I felt a lot more confident. I was actually kind of understanding how to push my feet away a bit more. And just in general, I, I taught myself how to stop by watching videos beforehand and then just learning them when I went outside. It was just so much better. And I was learning how to do bubbles. So bubbles is where your feet go like this. <laughs> and if you're learning to skate at the moment, that's one of the first things you will literally learn because it's just, 
Learning bubbles helps you to learn all the other things you want to learn. So then we have day five. I did manage to get in an all right moon, uh, moonwalk and that was on my list of what I really wanted to achieve in the very beginning because it's, it's one of the first tricks a lot of people learn because it's kind of, it's easier than others as well as shoot the duck. So my shoot the duck, my leg wasn't quite straight enough and things like that, but I was just happy that I was kind of getting into the right footwork and getting into the right positioning sort of <laughs> but yeah so I had more confidence this day I was skating around just enjoying it in general and yeah it was a really really fun day but I did also have the worst fall that I had had so far and I literally was running on my skates just going as fast as I had gone at that point I just tripped myself and flew and if you see on the side of the road there's little ditches I just rolled and was just in the grass basically so I'm so lucky I didn't end up in the ditch but it was horrible and that really knocked my confidence and then on day six I went out on my own for the first time and that made me so nervous I didn't really have any confidence because I'd fallen over the day before so I just practiced the moonwalk and shoot the duck which are the two moves on the screen now so the moonwalk is, as you can see, just a moonwalk and shoot the duck is where you kind of lean down and put your leg out. And at this point, I just could not get my leg straight. I could not get my moonwalk right. Yeah, it was just embarrassing. And then the second that people were around, what happens? <laughs> yeah, I fall over. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. I was just like, I'm fine, it's fine. But yeah, really knocked my confidence a lot. I felt like everyone was looking at me. They're not. If you're in this situation right now and you don't want to go out on your own, no one is looking at you. And if they are looking at you, they're probably thinking, wow, that's so cool, this girl's skating. So just think, they just think you look cool. It's a good thing. Day seven, first time attempting the strut walk. I attempted it in my kitchen, as I'll play on the screen now. In my kitchen, holding on to two chairs, hoping for the best, getting the footwork in. It was a nightmare. I was struggling so much, but I just kept going, kept going, kept going until I could let go of the chairs a little bit. But yeah, practice, practice, practice. Day eight, I finally got my shoot the duck right. I was so happy this day. I literally thought this was such a big achievement. I was so happy when I managed to get this. And again, I just practiced some more strutting outside, which was so scary to begin with. But you know, I it was fine. I managed to kind of get a few steps in of strutting that weren't a mess, which I was really happy with. And also I was attempting the crab walk, which is on screen now. And it is just where you kind of whack your feet in and out. Really fun move to do. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of having a skate around, trying to get more confident outside on my own because I was still really nervous to be outside. I'm really embarrassed. I just felt embarrassed. I know loads of people have said this since to me as well on Instagram. They've said, oh, I feel so embarrassed when I go out on my own. And I'm like, I, I totally relate. I was exactly the same. It just goes. There just comes a moment where you just suddenly feel confident. A lot of people say they go out with a friend or they go out with a boyfriend or a girlfriend and they feel really embarrassed and they feel really like, oh, unless they're with that person, they feel really shy. But there was a day I just, I just went out and I suddenly just was like, oh, I don't feel embarrassed anymore, I feel fine. And that will happen as well. So if you're in that situation, you're in your journey right now, that day will come. Just gotta grow that confidence up and be like, I've got this. <laughs> day nine, day nine was my favorite day ever when I had this day, I was so happy. So day nine, I got up really, really early, went to um, a basketball court that I knew would be empty because it was early and I just struck strut 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 i just literally did my strut all morning so this is how i prepared for my strut wearing all the safety gear holding on for dear life to this pole and just being like come on like just keep doing the footwork just keep putting your feet there literally i was there over an hour just foot 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 and then when i felt comfortable i finally let go of the pole and i was like okay and then i took my knee pads off took my helmet off and i was like careful careful and then i just it just clicked it literally just clicked and i was so happy strutting was just such a big goal of mine i was so happy literally <laughs> it was like the best feeling ever when i actually managed to strut it's so like i said if you set yourself a goal mine was strutting and that's what i focused on i spent literally an hour one day doing it in my kitchen then i did it outside again and then i literally just drilled it that day and finally i got it it was still not perfect it was still not completely perfect, but I just, yeah, just keep, just keep, 
practice in what you want to achieve and then you'll get better at it. So then we come to day 10. Now day 10, I really wanted to learn how to spin because that was also a really kind of really important one on my list of goals. And so I just, again, went into the garden, into the little patio bit and just drilled, spinning, drilled it, drilled it. So I literally woke up that day and I was like, I'm gonna be able to spin today. I went into the garden and I just drilled it again. I literally was out there for over an hour just spinning and oh my goodness, I would say with spinning, please be careful. <laughs> please be careful. Usually when I'm practicing a move um, for the first time, I wear full protective gear. So I wear my helmet, I wear my knee pads and I wear my uh, wrist guards. But um, depending on how confident I'm feeling or any areas that I feel like I need to support more on certain days for whatever reason. But on this day, I was lucky because I didn't have any falls. I just had a few little stumbles, but nothing too major. But make sure you always wear your safety gear when you're practicing because I've seen so many girls on Instagram that I have been speaking to recently who have said that they've had really bad injuries and just the other day someone had a really bad injury. I've seen people with broken bones. Yeah, it's it, it's it's a, it's like a sport, isn't it? It's skating, it's a sport. It's something that it's so easy to injure yourself when you're doing this. So until you are confident, make sure you wear a safety gear. You know in yourself what you, what you want to wear, what you need to wear and what areas are weaker in your body. So just basically protect yourself for how you feel like you need to protect yourself. I'm just saying it in the way of, yeah. If you see my newer videos on Instagram when I'm not wearing any protection or I'm just wearing my wrist guards, like that's only because I've taught myself how to catch myself when I fall now. And so yeah, you definitely, 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 definitely should still wear your safety gear in the beginning. That's my tip. But anyway, day 10, yep, I managed to spin. I was so happy. Um, spinning is really hard and really scary because you don't really know what's going on but this was a hill toe spin so one foot the toe is up one foot the hill is up and then you just spin around um, so much fun to learn so much fun to do I really enjoyed it and the same day I also just went over some crab walking I did some more strutting I just practiced all the moves I'd learned so far basically and I felt so confident I felt like everything was kind of coming together Day 11. So day 11, I went to this car park. First time I'd been to a car park um, on my own. And one thing I would say is if you're going to kind of multi-story car parks, I actually don't go to them anymore because they're just a bit, they're a bit creepy. I know um, a lot of people skate there with friends, which is obviously a lot safer. A lot of people will go to ones that have security guards. That's fine, obviously that's, that's great, but yeah, I was going to this car park, I went there a couple of times, and it was just empty. There's no cars there because the cars couldn't get up that high. So I would get the lift up to that point. And it was just creepy. I would just, I would literally, I wouldn't feel safe while I was up there. I'd almost feel, and there was no CCTV on some of the floors as well, which just makes me think it's not worth risking putting yourself in a dangerous position. But this was one of the times I went up there um, and... It was really good. It is I mean, car parks are so smooth. Car parks like this, where it's concrete, are so smooth. So it's perfect to kind of just skate around and learn tricks. So on this day, I learnt, what day is it? This is day 11. I learnt some backwards skating. I'd already kind of practiced a bit of backwards skating here and there, but I just kind of went over it this day and got more comfortable with it. I also started to learn the little moves for a move called the original, which is this move here which is just a nice little sweet dance move. But yeah, this is the thing. I'm kind of doing the steps, but I'm not really putting the rolls into it at this point. And also I was trying to learn downtown, which is this move here. But again, you'd usually slide into the steps. This was just me doing the steps. <laughs> but you know, we all learn different ways. But yes, so I was just learning some little dance moves from the original and downtown steps, having a little skate around, doing some one foot skating just to get more comfortable on, on my uh, one on one foot, doing some backward skating. Yeah, really fun. Day 12, I have no video for as it was just a horrible rainy day and I was just in my kitchen. But all I was really doing was just skating around in my kitchen really, just kind of going over the things I'd learnt. Usually when I have any free time, I just go over sort of spinning and strutting and all the things that I've already learnt, I just go over them again. But yeah, that's what I was doing on that day. And then the day after that, which is day 13, I had a little bit of time on my lunch break. And so I just went out for a skate for an hour 
did some one foot skating, did some more strutting, did some backwards strutting. I practiced some dribbles, which is this, but I'm still not the best at dribbles and I'm okay with that. It's just one of those things um, I really enjoy strutting, but dribbles, yeah, they're just, yeah. I think it's because of my toe stops. I have Impala skates, so my toe stops are quite chunky um, and yeah, they make it a bit difficult, but I will get confident at some point to take my toe stops out. I keep saying it to everyone and everyone's like, just do it. And I'm like, ah, but it's so scary. Yeah, it's so scary taking your toe stops out, but I'll get there, I'll get there. So day 13, just a lunch break skate, basically. I went out in a jumper and it ended up being boiling hot weather and I was so annoyed because I was absolutely sweating. One thing I would say is if you're learning to skate at the moment or you're about to learn to skate is dress appropriately for the weather. I never dress appropriately for the weather. I'm always wearing all black or I'm wearing a jumper because I'm cold when I'm getting ready, but after skating for a few minutes, I'm boiling hot and I'm thinking why? So yeah, I would probably say just always wear like a vest top or a t-shirt underneath whatever you're wearing. <laughs> a little piece of advice for you. Day 14, another day with no video as I just wanted to learn how to enjoy trout skating, just skating, but on my own as I hadn't done that yet. I was always with someone when I was just out skating along a path or whatever. So yeah, day 14, I went out and I just did a trout skate. I just skated along this like big long path through this park. And it was really nice, it was really good. I took this picture, which I put on my Instagram, just to be like, this is what I've done today. But it was really nice not taking a video because sometimes I feel like you get a little bit obsessed with it. Yeah, it's nice to go out and just enjoy trail skating, just enjoy skating peacefully. Oh, it's lovely. Day 15, okay, day 15 was the best day. Oh, I was so happy this day. I woke up and I was like, you need to you need to really get good at this strutting thing and i was like right okay but i'm com i'm comfortable strut strutting but you know i really i really wanted to just drill it so that i was just like i love strutting i went outside onto the the little bit of concrete patio whatever it is outside and i just again drilled it i was just strutting for ages and this is the video i got that day for my strut and i was just i was so happy with this i was so happy with this strut I was just literally, I really wanted to just be confident and feel like I could sexy strut. All the other struts were kind of nervous struts because I was always kind of going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, don't fall. Whereas this strut, I was like, <laughs> and I just wanted to, I just wanted to look like it was a sexy strut, okay? I wanted to look sexy in it. I wanted it to be a sexy strut and that's why, that's what I tried to achieve, so yeah that that was day 15 and i've just noticed how long this video is already and i feel like yeah i feel like it's going to be a ridiculously long video so i feel like maybe i'm going to divide this into two parts um as yeah it's looking like it's going to be long so this was part one which is the first 15 days where i learned these little tricks and did a little bit of trail skating but if you want to see part two which is going to be days 15 to day 30 which is where it really gets good and where my confidence really kicked in then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and I will try and post it within the next couple of days so that you can see. I'm going to have to edit both of these videos. I'll edit this one, put it up straight away and then the next one will come very soon after. So I hope that you've enjoyed this part of the video and my journey so far. If you want to see more of my journey and you want to see my Instagram, then my Instagram will be linked in the description below, my skating account. Honestly, if you are considering starting a skating account, just do it. I'm serious, just do it. The day I did it, I was so happy. Uh, it, it's just such an amazing community. Everyone's so supportive, everyone's so friendly. Everyone is just amazing with tips and advice and inspiration. I hope you enjoyed this part of the video and stay tuned for part two. <laughs> Bye.